So what I love about coming back to New York is the culture, man, like fucking Italians. Do we have any Italians in here? Any Italians? Are you Italian, baby? I love Italians, man. You know what I love about Italian people? Italian people will make up certain words and phrases that only they know what it means. Like, you ever heard an Italian person say this phrase? Half a fag, what the fuck does that mean? Like, you could be around an Italian person and say some normal shit, like, man, you know what, usually on the weekends, me and my girl go out clubbing and shit, but we decided to stay in this weekend and make it a blockbuster night. So we rented this movie, Steel Magnolias. Now, I know it's a chick flick, but I'm gonna be honest, towards the end, I actually choked up, cried a little bit. Whoa, not for nothing, you sound like half a fag. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? Even when they explain it to you, the meaning makes less sense than the term. Like, what does that mean? I don't know, you meet a guy in a bar, you throw back a couple of drinks, next thing you know, you take him to the bedroom, you pull down your trousers, you pull out your cock, you shove it halfway down his throat, somewhere in the process, you go, whoa, the same for me, half a fucking fag. <laughs> Nigga, that makes no sense. And young brothers kill me, because we love Italian culture, man. Like the rappers and shit. They always name themselves after old school mobsters and shit, which is kind of stupid to me because, you know, old school Italians hate black people. They call us all kind of mulians and niggas and shit. But the funny thing is like old school Italians are funny because anytime you hang around them, they will say the most racist shit in front of you. And as long as they ended with no offense, it's okay. <laughs> like I remember one time I went to go visit a friend of mine in a bar in Brooklyn, Italian neighborhood. I walked in the bar right away, the dude knew who I was. He was like, whoa, there he is. Fucking guy from Mad TV, Airy Spears. Hey, my friend, let me tell you, me and my kids, we watch you every Saturday night. You're the fucking best. You're the fucking best. Bartender, for my friend, a drink. Let me guess, you people, you like the fucking Hennessy. I know. <laughs> Fucked up, because I wanted a Hennessy. I didn't understand. I was... <laughs> so he gets me to drink, and he starts telling this story to his boys, and it's the most racist shit ever. Tommy, Mikey, you hear about Richie? Yeah, guy's in jail doing a bid. Killed his wife. Caught a fucking Amulian. Can you believe that? I mean, let's be honest, between you and me, we always knew Jeannie had a thing for the pepper. <laughs> but to actually fuck an eggplant? Can you imagine that? You kiss your wife goodbye, you get in your car, you drive away, you're two, three blocks from your house, you realize, whoa, forgot my fucking glasses. You turn the car around, you go back into the house, you kick open the bedroom door, there she is getting the old brajul from Curious George. But let's look at the bright side. At least it wasn't none of our wives. Can you imagine your wife fucking a raisinette? Ah, uh, Maron, God forbid. Hey, Aries, no offense. Salud. That's the most racist shit, man. I don't know, man. It's fucking crazy. They do make great movies, though. I like all those Italian mobster movies and shit, you know? Like, I'm really trying to make it in Hollywood. Like, I want to be a movie star. That's my dream. But I'm finding out Hollywood is not what you think it's about. People that move out to L.A. thinking this shit is about talent. Shit is not about talent. It's about sex appeal. It's part of my game I got to work on. <laughs> Gotta be in shape to be a movie star, man. You know, my problem is I like cupcakes too much. I'm serious, sometimes on a Saturday night, if I got a choice between some pussy and a cupcake. <sighs> sometimes cupcake win. It's kind of like pussy if you think about it, especially if you heat it up in the microwave for 15 seconds. It's all warm on the inside, creamy in the middle. And when it's over, it's much easier to wash that smell off your dick, I'm trying to tell you. Fuck y'all, funny to me, I don't give a fuck, funny to me.